This video will serve as a brief introduction to the new Forcepoint Hub interface. The Forcepoint Customer Support Portal has been upgraded to the Forcepoint Hub. The Forcepoint Hub is a tool for customers to access various resources on the Forcepoint website in order to better troubleshoot and investigate issues. On the main page of the Forcepoint Hub, there is the Knowledge Base section, which contains featured articles and recent articles that have been created. In addition, a listing of all open cases is listed. At the bottom of the page, recent tech alerts relevant to your products are listed as well. The search bar at the top of the page can be used to search Forcepoint documentation, the Knowledge Base, community posts, and tech alerts. Searching for articles and documentation can also be performed by clicking on the Knowledge and Documentation tab. In this example, we will be searching for a DLP article. As seen on the page, the search results can be filtered by documentation, knowledge base articles, tech alerts, and posts by the community forums. On the left pane, additional filters can be applied. Within the product filter, there are additional subfilters that can be applied such as the sub-products and versions included within the article. To clear a filter, select one of the upper parent values. The Community tab will allow you to access a variety of groups that are created by Forcepoint users. By joining a group, you have the option of receiving email notifications and digests when posts are created. Within the groups, you are able to ask questions and discuss the product with other users. Here, we will create a sample question in this group. As seen here, the post is now placed into the feed of the group. Other users can reply on these posts, and if you are the creator of the question, you are able to mark one of the posts as the best answer. Forcepoint support will also be monitoring these communities and will answer questions when possible. When posting in Forcepoint communities, your first and last name will be used by default. If you would like to modify this information, navigate to the top right menu and go to My Profile. Here you are able to set your community facing display name in addition to other personal information. The influence and recognition badges on the right side of the page will be a reflection of your activity performed within the communities. Use the Cases tab to view your currently opened cases and also any past cases opened under your name or from your organization. Within the case, you are able to view information such as the articles a technician has attached to your case and activities such as case comments. Clicking on an attached article will bring you to the associated article within the Forcepoint Hub. If there is a need to open a new support case, there are two options. First is contacting support over the phone in order to generate a case on your behalf. When calling into Forcepoint support, provide the Forcepoint account ID which is available under the Contact Support tab. Otherwise, navigate to the Cases tab and select Create New Case. In this example, we will be creating a new DLP case. On the New Case Creation screen, fill out the fields as listed here. In regards to the priority of the case, choose the appropriate level that matches the severity of your case. As seen on the right side of the page under Recommended Solutions, as you type in the subject of your issue, various related articles will appear on the right side. It is recommended to check these articles to see if they resolve your issue prior to proceeding with opening a case. When you are ready, click on the Submit button to start creating a case. Once the case has been created, make a note of the case number that is listed here, as your casework will be contained within this case number. On the Case Information page, you're able to perform several activities such as adding new case comments to the case, attaching requested files to the case, and also closing the case if the issue has been resolved. Under the Manage Users tab, you can view a listing of the users that are assigned within your organization for the Forcepoint Support Portal. You can filter the users as necessary and determine which users are able to create cases and what role they have within your organization. The Training tab will take you to the Forcepoint Cyber Institute, which is a resource used to learn more about the various Forcepoint products and receive certification for product knowledge. If there is a need to download Forcepoint installers and other files, click on the Downloads tab under the Forcepoint Hub. In order to update information such as your password, email address, and regional settings, navigate to My Settings in the User menu. If you wish to confirm your subscriptions and appliances, click on the user menu on the top right and navigate to My Account. 
Under the Related tab, you will see the product subscriptions that are present within your organization. For more information, click on the elements themselves. This concludes a brief introduction to the new Forcepoint Hub. We hope that it is a useful tool to streamline your Forcepoint support experience.